Hello, pilots and ground crew. Welcome back to my channel again. Well, uh, I've got an email to share with you again. Uh, what it was, basically, uh, well, I see email, right? The guy left his phone number, so I ended up ringing him up, all right, and explaining to him. But uh, I said I'd make a video to make it a little bit more simpler. Right, he had a problem, and what it was, it was his VTX, right? And to make it simple, his VTX had got damaged. It was still working, right? However, the button on it wouldn't work anymore, so he couldn't change channel. Now, I know some of you are going to say straight away, why not do it on the transmitter through the tramp protocol? Well, he didn't have that set up, and he didn't know how to set it up or out like that. And I'm not even sure if his VTX was compatible, right? Oh, his flight control board was compatible but I explained to him there is another way to do it you can actually change your VTX channels your bands and everything in beta flight and it's pretty simple right so if you are okay you can't do it out of field well I suppose you could actually right yeah in fact you could if you're using one of them speedy B dongles where you plug in uh, I'll, I'll tell you what I'll leave a link in the top corner up there about there it should be coming up now yeah it's a speedy B dongle you probably all heard of them and seen them and uh, you plug your quad in then you can change all your beta flight settings so you can do it out of field if you need to but no I explained to him that uh, not to panic you can actually change your VTX settings in beta flight uh, explain to him over the phone how to do it right uh, and uh, after he <laughs> rung me back twice <laughs> twice stupid git sorry mate only joking i won't give your name out to embarrass you don't worry i know you said don't and i won't <coughs> oh bad cough then <coughs> somebody's gonna play that back and play it real slow so they can get what name i come out with then all right because you may have heard of it actually yeah but anyhow so i thought i'd show you uh how to change your vtx your channel your band and stuff uh in beta flight on the software and it's quite simple right in fact it's so simple I'm not actually gonna do it I'm just gonna show you a picture and talk you through it you'll see as the video goes along I'm trying to keep it short and I'm waffling a bit now so first thing I'm gonna do is plug in a flight control board uh, just grabbed a, an old bugger right just to show you just plug in a flight control board and uh, talk you through what you need to do and then uh, show you a photograph basically but you'll see what I'm on about Okay then, uh, to beta flight. Okay then, pilots. Uh, we're on beta flight now, as you can see. And all I've done is plug in that flight control board. Uh, in your case, you'd basically just plug in your quad. All right? Obviously, with the VTX connected up to it. And you go down to your command line. All right? And this is where you do a bit of typing. And it's very simple. You don't have to delete anything. You just type in what you need. All right now, I'm going to show you the picture of it because I don't want to start changing stuff. And if you've watched me before, you know I'm a very, very slow typist. So let me just uh, minimize that and pull up a picture of what you need. Jump shot. Right then, this is exactly what you'll type in to that command line that I just showed you. Alright, you know you're on this page here. Alright, well this is what you're going to type type in on the actual command line. Alright, now you'll type in, do it in stages, then you won't confuse yourself. Literally what you're seeing on the screen. Set VTX underscore band equals, now I've set this up. As band one, channel one, right, and frequency for channel one. But I'll talk you through that in a second, right? Band one speaks for itself, channel one, right? But think about it as your band would be like A, B, C, D, E. You know what I mean? Well, not like that, but yeah. So band one equals, right, A, right? And channel would be channel one. So it would be A1, if you know what I mean. And the frequency, now that has to be spot on when you're typing this in. Alright, let me just put that other picture up. Hang on, jump shot sort of. There we go. The frequency, alright, like here, band A, channel 1, and the frequency, alright, this is just if you're a new pilot, alright, 
these are all your different bands and your different channels and stuff like that and everything but that frequency number you can forget the letter at the end the M you don't need to put that but that frequency number must match your band and your channel number uh, if you put the wrong frequency number in it won't work but you can get this what you're looking at now just by typing in well just type in channel uh, frequencies for FPV or something like that on Google uh, images and you, you'll get this you, you've probably got it on a bit of paper somewhere on some instructions for your VTX that you've never read uh, yeah but as long as the frequency number matches the band and the channel so we're doing band A channel 1 Alright, so as you see here, band here channel 1 is 5865, so if we just go back to the document, 5865. So that's all you have to do, alright, you type in set VTX underscore band equals whatever band you happen to want, and then set the channel, alright, whatever channel you happen to want and then set the frequency for the exact band and channel right they must match up if they don't match up right it will not work right just remember just follow it down if you're doing race band right you'd have band one two three four five channel let's say four so five to four would be that there 5769 okay that would be the frequency just remember the frequency has to match the band and the channel okay so that's it basically let me just move that out the road now oops we've lost one back here yeah so you type that in there and then type the word save and press enter on your keyboard and then the channel and the band would have been changed in your VTX and like I said that sounds slightly complicated but if you're a new pilot and you watch this video twice right you'll pick it up it really is simple right as long as you know your band and your channel and the frequency number just type it in in that order that I've showed you right uh, you could type it all in one lump sum copy it paste it and stuff like that but it's best to do it in stages and then that way you don't make a mistake so you'd literally just type in set VTX channel whatever enter set band blah, blah. you know what I mean what I've just told you and it really is as simple as that so there you go then pilots and ground crew uh like i said i had to talk whoa i nearly said in i nearly said your name then mate oh it was close it was close but i had to talk somebody through it on the telephone and i thought just in case new pilot i mean if you've been flying a while you'll know that that's common sense to you but there's a lot of new pilots coming in and uh 90 percent of my stuff uh, if i'm not flying i mean my vlogs and stuff is aimed for new pilots Alright, so uh, I thought I'd make a video, alright, but any questions just leave a comment, alright, and I'll be happy to get back to you, and drop us an email if you have any problems and I'm happy to make a video like this, I've done this a few times, people have sent me emails and I don't mind making them videos, don't mind knocking out a few videos to help people. Okay then, uh, I'm going to leave it there then pilots and ground crew, big stretch unfortunately i can't go out flying today long story but i can't get out today so i thought i'd knock this video out right then i uh, hope this helps and as i used to say and haven't said for a long time if this just helps one person i'm happy well i should be happy now because i know i've already helped one person <laughs> the boy can waffle old git right then uh, thanks for watching and cheers